Hello and welcome everyone, this is Lion and I welcome you all back to the Gothic 3 playthrough. This is episode 26, so let's get underway with our adventure. Okay, so we left off in the last episode, uh, starting off with the Silden quests. So we're going to continue on with that. We have several quests we have to do. And on top of that, we have to explore the inner gates of Silden, which I think we will start off with first so we can get every single quest that we need to do and slowly work our way through. will kill all of you! I see. Who's in charge here? Umbrock. He is the Lord here. Where can I find your Lord? Umbrock is in the big house. What should I know about your Lord? Go see Grumple the Shaman. He can tell you. You're not exactly the brightest light, are you? Mm. You need torches, Mora? Never mind. <laughs> well... He was not, uh, very nice or very smart. Let's just ignore him. So let's see. We need to find the named NPC. So pretty much that's the gate. I'm pretty sure we can't go past that one. Where are you headed? I'm new here. So I see. Is that all? I want to see your leader. Access will only be granted to those who enjoy a certain reputation in town. How can I improve my reputation in town? That's simple. Just make yourself useful. There's enough work to do. There's one thing we need in particular. Reinforcements. Reinforcements? Look around you. There's almost nothing but humans here. And barely an orc who isn't feeling completely overwhelmed. What if I help you? You? You are a Mora, just like most people here. If you want to help defend the city, you should train your fighting skills first. I can show you how to improve your fighting skills. But you Moras are just too weak by yourselves. We need more Orcs. What we could really use up here is a blacksmith. Go find us a smith! Where are Orcs needed the most? We need some guards here within the city. If we don't watch out, the rebels might overrun us in the end. Would you teach me how to fight? Okay, let's see. So he's, again, nothing special. Where can I find a blacksmith for this town? Just walk around and ask the orcs. There must be one amongst them who knows a thing or two about forging. No, we do not know if we can trust you. Alright, okay, so we need 35 points. So, if I actually remember correctly, there is somebody we can use as a smith. <laughs> I don't think I want to hear this. So, if you remember in the last episode, we came to this guy over here, uh, Kadok. He basically, we found his hammer, and I'm pretty sure he can be a smith. There isn't much the city of Silden needs a blacksmith. Ah, very good. Work at last. Then at least I won't be sitting around here feeling completely useless. Hey, come and see me in the smithy sometime if you're interested, kid. I will. Fine. I'll be on my way then. Good. So that's uh, one quest complete. Now, let's go back. That's a quick quest. I just want to get out of the way, considering it was very easy to do. I'm pretty sure this guy right here is a named NPC. Nope, not him. Oh, here's Grumple, by the way. Hi. Ah, uh, I know you. I have met you before. Mm, not that I know of. In my dreams, you were alone and fighting. In my dreams, you were alone and fighting. 
What else do you know about me? Your future is unclear. Many decisions lie before you. You are different from the other Moras. You are important. Could you elaborate a bit? Hush! Your story has not yet been written. Therefore, I cannot see it. Who's the boss here? Umbrak, the great warlord. The legends of his deeds are known far and wide. And where can I find this great warlord? His throne stands in the highest building of this town, stranger. What's your job here? I serve our leader with my wisdom and clairvoyance. I see. So you're his advisor. Alright, so he can probably tell us some stuff about Zardis. I am looking for Zardis. You have a long journey ahead of you then. His tower is in Nordmar, far off to the east. Alright. Teach me your knowledge. Hmm. Amora interested in the wisdom of the shamans. I must admit that I find that somewhat intriguing. Fine. I will teach you if Umbrak, our great commander, agrees to meet you. If Umbak respects you, so will I. I see. Show me your goods. Alright, so let's see. Let's just sell some garbage to him that we don't need. Wish we don't need soft, but I don't want to sell those raw materials just yet. Never good to sell raw materials. Uh, this, I guess this chest is a little glitched. You can still loot it, it's just it has Here the, it says something about alchemy. It has the uh, animation that's been opened, but yeah, this is still lootable. Alright. Another layabout in my kitchen. You're the cook here? Stop yanking my chain and get out, I'm busy. Anything else? Oh, shut up. I need raw meat. Fifty joints. What? You can't imagine how much these apes can fit in their stomachs, kid. Go and get me some raw meat. Here. Is this enough meat? Yes. Well, it'll be enough. For now. Here's some gold. And now get yourself out of here. This is totally overcooked. Oh, whatever. Hmm. Starting to sound a little bit like Gordon Ramsay. Anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. So we did that quick quest. Uh, yeah, quest with him. Fifty raw meat. I'm actually surprised I had that much. How much do I have left? Seventy. Jeez, I actually had a lot of raw meat. Anyway, there's another. There's another guy in here. Don't even think about stealing from me. Understand? Says who? Sorry, I'm just a little edgy. What's a guy like you doing in a place like this? What's your job in this backwater place? It's not like there's much to do here. I'm just hanging out with the other mercenaries, waiting for something to happen. You're a mercenary for the orcs, and you have nothing to do? I'm sure I do. We capture runaway slaves. It's hard work trying to find someone hiding in those dense forests out there. You're not so keen on recapturing the slaves, are you? Those poor beggars barely have a chance of surviving in the woods anyway. Does slave hunting pay well here? Much too well. We mercenaries almost fight each other for the privilege. We even let some of the slaves loose on purpose so that we can collect their bounty later. You mercenaries are helping slaves escape? You never heard me say this, understand? If the orcs get wind of this, we're dog meat. That's probably a quest that we're not going to do simply because he is actually a rebel in disguise. What do you know about this town? Sildan lies near the pass to Nordmar. When the war started, the orcs came over the mountains from the northeast. That's why Sildan was the first town to be overrun and captured. Since that day, there have been no more major battles here. Who rules this city? Umbrak. During the war, he was a great commander of the orcs. Grumple, the city shaman, is his right hand. Umbrak will do nothing without consulting him first. You're not a mercenary. You are a rebel. Curses! Me and my big mouth! What are you gonna do now? I want to help you. Finally! Someone who has the courage to get things rolling. When are you rebels going to strike? Here in Sildan, the orcs are in the minority. And yet Umbrak still rules with an iron fist. He must have something powerful up his sleeve to make them all fear him like that. First, we need to know exactly what it is before we go ahead with the uprising. How about weapons? I saw a lot of them in the mill by the river. Should be about five bundles of weapons. If we had those, it would be a huge step for us. 
Uh, I actually have the bundles of weapons, so I don't even need to go there and loot them. I have the weapons that you need. You're a good man. We could really use you here. What about the runaway slaves? The ones that haven't been torn apart by wild beasts are hiding somewhere to the north. Somebody must take them to our refugee camp in the woods near the pass. A fellow named Freeman will take care of them there. So who's your leader, anyway? My brother, Anog. He's holed up in the woods with a few of his people. Somebody needs to go tell him that we need his help here. Okay. So, I actually think that might be it. I don't think that there's anybody else we need to talk to. Let me just do a quick check. No. Oh, no. Nothing to do? Usually I hunt up in the mountains instead of hanging around here uselessly. What do you hunt? Basically everything that lives here on our plains. For that, you sometimes have to be pretty fast and nimble. If you want, I can teach you. But first, you'll have to come with me up to the hunting cabin. Why are you here in the city? I just delivered some of our pelts to the warehouse keeper. Actually, I wanted to go straight home. But somehow, I just can't pull myself together. Show me your hunting cabin. No problem. Come with me. All right, let's do this quick quest, uh, since uh, this will probably be the last time we're leaving the city. Sure, why not? Since we're leaving the city, this would be a good time to, to get the teleporter stone. If I'm not mistaken, the teleporter stone is right over here. So pretty much you just go to this uh, almost shrine looking stone area. You know, kind of like um, Stonehenge, and then you grab the teleporter stone sitting on the rock. You're gonna need this because it's gonna be a longer way back. Wait, why is he going this way? That's all we need. Ah, never mind. Quickly snag these chests. So, here's the hunting cabin. Should I teach you something about hunting here on the plains now? Ooh, this is good. Make me an inexhaustible runner. Breathing is the most important thing. If you breathe wrong, you will soon be winded. Breathe evenly and draw the air deep into your lungs. Then you'll always have some when you need it. And the absolutely most important thing, don't panic. Hey. So we learned the endurance of a, wolf, of a wolf, so that's the skill I said early we wanted, because if I sprint now, if you look at like my stamina bar, I'm losing stamina very slowly even though I'm sprinting. Like, I've probably lost only about a fifth, and at the speed at which it regenerates, it's just really good. It's because this map in general is very big and you're going to be sprinting a lot, I find this is a, a skill you don't want to go without. Okay, so we're going to need these because we're going to need to deliver these in, a, in another quest. Let's just capture these. And we can talk to the other hunters here because they have stuff for us to do as well. How's the hunting here? Almost too good. We're catching more this season than we can carry. We've barely got time to deliver the pelts we bagged to Silden. I could take your pelts to Silden. That would be great. Here are eight crates of pelts, all packed up for delivery. Show me your goods. Okay, so he will sell you sharp arrow blueprint. He also show you the battle bow. The battle bow is one of the better bows that um, you can get in this game. Because I'm pretty sure the, the best bow you can get is the uh, skull bow or bone bow or one of the two. It's uh, You can only get that in the heavy chests though. Okay, so... Oh, whoops. So we need eight of these. I believe. How much is that? Chest the first, we need one more.
Did we miss one? Hmm. I'm actually gonna sleep. I think, to be honest, rain makes this game lag a tiny bit. Oh man. Is it still raining? Seriously? My god. Just loves to rain here. There we go. Alright. So, we're short one crate. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there we go. Eight crates. Now, let me just check. So, we talked to him. We did not talk You're to him. You're the boss here? The orcs rule, friend. My contribution to this community is a rather humble one. How's the hunting here? Very good. Always plenty of prey for a hunter here up north. Snappers, mostly. They fetch a fair amount in Sildon. I can teach you a thing or two about hunting if you like. I want to hunt snappers. Great idea. I think I'll come along. Tell me when you're ready, and off we go. Hey. Do you work for the orcs? Any human with half a brain does that. Disobeying the orcs would be suicide. Hmm. That's a sensible standpoint. It certainly is. Even if the orcs set the prices these days. Back then, the humans in Sildon would pay a lot more. Okay. What can you teach teach me something about hunting. Yeah, so this guy can teach you pretty much. He teaches you Master Marksman, Big Game Hunter. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I can. This is. From what I can see, it's pretty much all the. All the useful skills, like Game Hunter, Big Game Hunter, Master Archer. You teach how to skin everything. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go hunt some snappers. Let's go. Yeah, we're not going to come back here once we're done with this quest line, so... Uh, I think it's most likely better just to get this out of the way and not come back later. You asked for it! One filthy beast less. There's some more snappers. I missed. Great. Missed again. I'm a terrible shot. You asked for Jesus it. Jesus Christ! I can't shoot to save my life. <laughs> There we go. One filthy beast less. Was that all of them? Mm, looks like it. Too bad. Oh well. If you want to know anything else about hunting, just ask me. Alright. Now let's get these chests. So here's a metal chest. Broken. Match or blank. Decent. Not the metal chest. I really hope we do find a solid metal chest soon, because, you know, we actually haven't seen that type of chest. It also is the only one that contains the blank of pure magic ore. I also want to quick, quickly uh, check over here. I actually forget what's in this cave. Ripper beasts. Oh, 
I was a quick <coughs> Jeez. I actually hate when that happens. Let's see, is there anything useful in here? This metal chest again. Other magic ore blank, some torches, a lightning bolt. I guess this is okay. The greatest, but I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, it's wait. King Sorel. No, that's that stone nettle. The stone nettle looks like a King Sorel, which I guess is really disappointing when you actually go to Go to pick it up. But oh well. Alright. Well, that is actually all of the quests on that farm. So now we can just grab the Sildin teleporter stone and we can go back to Sildin. Okay, so now we pretty much have every single quest in Sildin. Which, as you can see, it's big enough that we require a scroll wheel. So, what's an easy one we can do to take out or that we can uh, do to bring up our reputation? Let's see. We could do that one that, let's see. Prove your reputation, Sildin. Lost tools. Package of wild berries. Hmm. All right, let's just do the uh, lost tools quest. So, originally, we have to find, have to find, um, where those, the snappers and everything is. So if you remember correctly, lost tools, let's see. A lizard and a snapper. Let's just look along the coast. Oh, there's a lurker right there. <coughs> what the? Oh my god, I'm swimming. <coughs> okay, lurker claws. So there's another lurker. Oh, there's, <coughs> a, there's a black lurker over there. <coughs> There you go, there's a hammer. Okay, he's done too. Alright, so we found the hammer. And then we need to find that lizard. That lizard's somewhere around here as well. So he could be on... I'm hoping he's not on the other shore. We're gonna have to look around. So we walked along here, we didn't see anything. Let's keep going. Oh no. I am close to death. Didn't even realize it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even look at my health there. Right? Okay. I'm pretty sure this is already too far down the river. Come on, just swim. And it hit me, there we go, I was close. Alright, let's just swim along. See if you can find that, uh, lizard. I see wolves, I don't see any lizards. Thank you. 
Oh, there's a lizard right there. Here's some lizards. I think that was the, yep, constipated lizard. Yeah, I wonder why Ada saw. Wow, Druid Stone of the Lizard as well. Very interesting. Oh, there we go. So, just a word of reference. So, the lizard is found literally right off on the other side of the ri uh, on the other side of the river from the fishing district of Sildin, and the lurker is found again literally right up the coast. If you head, um, well, let's see. So if you head from, uh, if you when you get when you get the quest right here, you just go right over there and then right up there south, pretty much to get the uh, tools. All right, I found everything. Thanks, my friend. At last, I can start building again. Here's the reward I promised you. Don't spend it all in one place. Maybe you could help me a little more. What are you talking about? Well, it's like this. I'm not that good at building boats. That's why the orcs are still letting me work. And? Am I supposed to explain to you how to build a boat? No, of course not. But if you ever meet anybody, I would make it worth your while. Bring me something that helps me build better boats. And I swear by my great-grandfather that you will be richly rewarded. Richly? That's good. Any idea where I should start looking? If I knew how and where to look, I would have gone myself. But you won't have much luck in Mitanna. The orcs did a thorough job there. Maybe you should try further south. Alright, so that's gonna be a quest that's gonna be done way later. You need to go to Verant to uh, complete that one. Anyway. Oh, I think. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm gonna conclude this episode here. So let's see what we still need to do. So we have... You know, a decent amount of stuff to do. Uh, but there, of course, there are certain quests that we're not going to do, period. Just because, you know, they, they would uh, conflict with our, or at least mine, uh, my journey in the story. So we're not going to do this one. We're not going to do this one. Uh, we might do this one later. Because, obviously, we're going to liberate the city anyway. Um, we will do that one. Uh, Kadir's Hunt for a New Slave for Sildin. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, hunters. Who do we need to give this to? I'm pretty sure this will probably go to... I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. I'll have to ask around. Anyway, um... So, talk to Umbrak. We need to get the reputation for that. Perfect ship. We're not going to do that one for now. Sure. Why not? Someday this will be over. Hmm. It doesn't matter to you. Right. Still, it can't go on like this. Oh. Okay. That's actually another thing we have to do. Okay. So, from here, we're going to conclude the episode. In the next episode, we're going to try to get as many of those quests done as possible. Uh, talk to Umbrak. Uh, finish up the city. And move on to Gotha, where we're probably going to have uh, a very interesting fight because we're fighting one of the, probably the toughest enemy we fought so far and yep that sounds just about right so i thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if of course you have any suggestions or comments you know leave them down below i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in episode 27 thank you guys